Jenny. Thanks for joining us for the Hamill Family Play Zoo video series, bringing the Play Zoo to you. Today, get ready for more big adventures and tiny discoveries as we continue to investigate some amazing little animals. Insects, let's go. Last week, we practiced how to investigate insects in a safe and caring way. Today, we'll learn even more tips for our insect investigations. Remember, busy eyes looking, calm, quiet body. Move slowly. Sometimes insects hide in hard to reach spots. You can use a mirror to investigate these spots without touching. Other insects are easy to see. Use a milk ring or a bracelet or even a nature frame to keep an insect nearby. This will give you more time to investigate. What do you see? Can you count how many legs? Do you see colors or patterns? Stripes or spots? Do you see a head and a body? How about wings or antennae? All the things you notice will help you learn more about these tiny and amazing animals. You might find an insect inside your home. They come inside looking for food and shelter. <laughs> don't worry, if you don't bug them, they won't bug you. But if you're not ready to share your home with an insect, there is a safe and caring way to bring it outside. Make a bug taxi. You can use a clear plastic cup for your bug taxi. You can decorate it with permanent markers or colorful paper. But if you do, be sure to leave room to look inside so you can investigate your insect before you release it. When you're ready to bring your insect outside, slide a piece of paper underneath your bug taxi and you're ready to go. Now we can give him a ride outside. Be sure to keep your bug taxi handy for future insect investigations. That was fun. Investigating insects really is a big adventure full of tiny discoveries. We'd love to hear about your insect investigations. Send your stories and photos to the address on your screen. And now it's time for From Our Friends. Joey found a cicada. Jill saw a web worm moth. Sam is helping in the garden. That's all for today. Next week, we will learn about an animal who's getting ready to fly south for the winter, the monarch butterfly. Bring along some paper, scissors, and markers or crayons and make your very own butterfly finger puppet. See you next week.